Hi friends, it's Natalie. I'm here again to show you a bit of a look at some of the process that I'm going through as I work through my How He Loves Me or How He Loves um, devotional kit. So this is the kit and I've been going through this day by day. I haven't finished clearly and I'll just show you quickly where I have got up to. I've added just very quick decoration on the front page. Um, the first one about day one is go out, enjoy, and this is where my process all started with um, these um, mountains, these digital mountains that you can get in the Illustrated Faith uh, digital shop. Um, these are by Elaine Davis and I think these are just so cute. And what I love, you know, one of the best things I love about using these digital um, products is that of course once you've got them, once you've purchased them, you can use them over and over and over again. You just need to print them out again, right? So the fact that I use an entire sheet of them for this page hasn't phased me at all. In fact, it's inspired me to keep on doing a very similar um, way throughout this devotional. And so that's where I started. The second one, um, I hadn't yet printed any more mountains and I decided that I could just actually cut my own and I've used some colored paper, some pattern paper down here, just to roughly cut my own version. And it just got me thinking about when I'm decorating my pages here about using repetitive shapes, because I think they can make sort of a great impact. And it means I don't have to think a lot about the decorations I'm doing and I can really concentrate on what the words say. And I'm really loving um, this devotional, you know, it's just talking about um, greeting Jesus in the morning, about coming back to him at night time, helping your day go you know, forward with peace and seeking him in everything that we do. Um, and not being fearful. You know, when we live our lives like that, then we don't need to be fearful. Um, <laughs> this one's rather bright and rather like, ah! <laughs> but that's okay because again, you know, it's just about having fun and doing the decorations without having to really um, care about the end result because it's more to do with you spending the time in your devotional and spending time, um, you know, meditating on these words rather than, of course, how you're actually decorating it. So the fact that this looks like a hot mess in the end doesn't face me one bit. <laughs> Um, and then this is the last page that I've done, which instead of cutting mountains, I decided to cut out trees. Sorry, I'm going to just <laughs> give Judah something to keep him entertained. Um, so I decided to do trees this time because it fit with uh, the devotional, which is talking about Isaiah 55, all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Um, and in fact, so that's where I've left my devotional and then decided that I wanted to actually bring that whole concept into my journaling Bible as well. So I looked up Isaiah 55, which is over here, and I've clearly already done this page before when I was um, decorating Isaiah 55 verse 11. But the verse today, of course, is talking about Isaiah 55 verse 12, which is, For you shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Which I think is just beautiful. Now clearly I've got no space here right beside the verse um, to decorate it, but I do have this page on the other side, which is reasonably blank, apart from when I've stuck some washi in at some point randomly. And so I'm going with the same concept of just using repetitive shapes and I've printed out another set of Elaine's um, mountains. This time I'm using the Altitude Mountains. She's got a couple of different versions in the shop and they're in different colors and different patterns. And this one's rather cute. So what I've done is print them off. So this is an A4 piece of paper or an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And it's just plain old ordinary printing paper. And I have um, shrunk down the size of the printable. And in fact, this one I shrunk down to about six by eight. Uh, and then these ones that I've cut out, which I'm gonna use, I had shrunk it down even further. I think I shrunk it down to about four and a half inches wide and whatever that ended up being. Um, and as I said, it's just plain old printing paper. And the reason I use it that way is because then this is really quite thin. And when I'm using it in my journaling Bible, I do want to keep my decorations reasonably flat so that I can shut this at the end of the day. And as you can see, it's rather bulky. So I 
want to not add heaps of bulk if I can avoid it. So plain old printing paper because it's rather thin and I'm using double sided tape um, to stick these mountains down. Now I'm not going to make any plan of attack, I'm just going to start sticking and if I just use a little bit of um, double sided tape on the back of them then it means that I can um, layer them up. You know I can fit this one behind here and then I can stick one in front so that I can have them all laid up a bit nicer. So I'm just going to fast forward and stick lots and lots of these mountains down across the bottom of my page here. Now I feel like I've achieved something, right? Because I've used the whole packet of them, um, or you know, the whole sheet of them. And now, you know, it gives me an excuse to print off some more. And I haven't covered up the words because I do prefer to keep my words still quite readable. So all I'm going to do now is keep this rather simple and I'm just going to add a bit of a title here which will say make a joyful noise and I'm going to use some of my stickers and probably do a couple of different colors here and I'll I tend to work from the bottom up so I want noise clearly of course to be my last word make a joyful noise and I want that to be down the bottom um, so I'm going to stick those ones down and I like using these hearts for the dot on the eye um, and I'll just, uh, I think, change different colours as I'm going. Oh, whoops, I want to do joyful as my next word. Sometimes I think maybe writing this out so I don't have to think about what the letters are backwards might be advantageous. I'm constantly going in my head. Okay, joyful, <laughs> J-O-Y-F-U-L. I've got the L, now I've got the U. Oh, please excuse him. There's nobody else home at the moment, so I'm trying very hard to multitask. And you know, as a mum, that sometimes we're good at that and sometimes we're less good at that. So make a... I think I'll be able to fit both of these words here together. Okay, okay, okay. There it is. <laughs> I just Judo is somebody that likes to uh, get lots of attention and have something to do at all times, and he's reaching for more things to do. All right, so there's my title. Make a joyful noise. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I'm gonna get him out. to join us. <laughs> Say hello. Hello, don't grab it. <laughs> yes, he's been eating something clearly. You sit down there for one more second. And the thing that I commonly do um, is do some splatters, right? So I'm going to do some ink splatters. <laughs> And I'm going to journal a little bit up there so that it actually makes sense and um, and talk about this verse and I love what um, Janelle has written in here um, and so I'm probably going to sort of basically copy this down because I really love this thought and it says to think of nature's passion and joy in response to God's touch was clearly an insight I hadn't considered do the trees really respond in, ad in adoration Looking outside at the beauty I've always felt and known, I would agree. Those pine tree bells really do look as though they are praising God. They really, really do. 
And I loved that. So I think, um, you know, I'm going to write something very similar along those lines. And clearly these are not my words. Um, and, you know, I'll make reference to that. But uh, I love that thought. And so I think it's okay to use that as inspiration for your journaling, right? Um, and the very last thing I'll do, so I'll write that up there. And then to finish off, and just because clearly I need to entertain my son, um, I'll show you what I'm going to do. And that will be to add some of my favourite heart stickers. Um, maybe the yellow ones. Um, to kind of sprinkle them on as well, a bit like, you know, I often do this with sequins or um, these shapes clearly are one of my favourites. And I just want to put a little cluster. And these are reasonably flat, so I don't mind sticking these in my Bible. And maybe I'll put another couple down here. All right. And so that's where I'm going to end it. Um, and I'll uh, clearly I'll have some um, photos of the finished page uh, in this um, blog post, and you'll be able to see how it all looks. Um, in the end but I hope you've been inspired to try something a little bit different maybe try out some of these printables and try out some um, repetitive shapes in your Bible whether or not they're the mountains or freehand cut um, trees or freehand cut mountains there's another possibility but it's all about just getting into the word right so whatever else you're doing enjoy yourself um, use the Word of God as a tool to really draw closer to him okay and I'll see you all again later. Bye.